Guess who just got asked to be in the Hollywood Fringe Festival? I've always wanted to do it. That's not true. Um, a couple years ago, uh, when I first realized there was a fringe in LA, I found out about it, what it was, and I was like, oh, this thing looks like it sucks. I don't want to be in that. And then it started getting really popular, and then people started doing really cool stuff with it like actually putting up awesome material at the fringe and uh now i'm down now i'm down and somebody just asked me they were like hey we had an actress back out do you want to do it I'm like uh yeah i want to achieve all new kinds of heights this year uh yes i want to do that <laughs> so it's in june um but i'm excited do -da -da -do -do -do. Headed to another one of these casting director workshops. I have met this casting director before, back in like 2011. My goal is obviously to impress him, remind him I exist, and make him wish there was a way for him to use me. So, wish me lyric. That went great, man. Oh, I'm so glad I went to that one. So. I walk into the room and he was like, hey, do I know you? I've met you before, right? And I was like, yeah, in 2011. And um, he was like, yeah, 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 I thought so. And then he recognized my scene partner too. I had a great scene partner. He was super talented, a little cocky, but that's okay. And uh, so I did the scene and I did it, I guess, pretty vanilla, you know, but I did a good standard job. And then he was like, be a little sassier with her which is always kind of what I'm afraid to do, but I'm really good at. And, um, but you know, with women on television, there's this whole thing about they have to be likable, likability, you don't wanna be a bitch. So I never go there. People have always coached me away from being that, but he gave me permission. So I went full bitch with it, and I s fucking soared. Like, I stood out, I popped, I was great. I feel like he's really gonna remember me after this, um, you know, which is awesome because he does mostly dramas, but some multi-camera sitcoms, and I would like to do either one of those, you know? I would love for somebody to consider me for dramas, and I would love for somebody to bring me in for multi-camera sitcoms, so I'm just happy that he knows who I am again. Uh, that went super well, and now I'm just gonna go home chill, hang out, I don't know, we'll see. Anyway, I'm sitting here watching My Crazy Ex-Girlfriend and um, season three, and my fucking improv teacher right now is on it, and I guess, you know, I think he's been on it since season one, but I didn't know him then, and now that I'm watching, I'm like, that's my fucking improv teacher right now. Um, and then I saw two other people that I've seen in shows in the last two weeks, locally, and it's just so cool, and shit becomes, uh, full circle, small town, like that. Anyway, I'm having like tons of baseline anxiety right now. Um, I haven't, while I've been doing UCB, I haven't been in my other comedy class and I'm performing with them tonight and I just am like kind of rusty. Um, you know, I've practiced with my buddies a couple times, my fellow idiots. Uh, but I missed the last rehearsal because I had to work and so I feel kind of out of the loop and a little just nervous because I don't know I don't know what we're doing uh, I'm an actor so normally when I do a scene or something it is all pre-planned out and I get to do what I want with that and with improv you can't plan anything out and that shit makes me super nervous and this other stuff makes me less nervous because there's no way to like do it wrong, I guess. And you, like, it's just full on go for it. Like this is the dumbest shit I've ever done in my life in public, on stage, in front of people. And I wanna be doing dumber shit in public all the time. Um, so I kind of love it and it's kind of just throw it all out the window. Don't give a fuck, you know? So anyway, just trying to like settle myself. Probably gonna go meet up with my friends in a little bit. Grab a drink before the show. I'm trying to decide what my uh, costume's gonna be, my wardrobe, my outfit. Time to go be dumb as fuck! I'm more ready and excited just because I love my friends and 
I love to get stupid. So like, let's fucking do this. I'm game now. Now I'm game. I'm in the game. Playing the game. Leap your birthday. Oh, you guys, fashion today is like literally a different fashion. Really? Shop, I'm not even sure. Really? I used to shop. I used to shop. Time for some gas talk. <laughs> no, what was this called? I don't know what this is called. Tank talk? Oh yeah, tank talk. Time for some tank talk. So glad I did that show. It was so dumb, but so much fun. And uh, it's just good to conquer your fears and shit. So I can officially check that box off. Um, and then I hung out with my friends at the bar for a little bit. I actually didn't even get a drink. Uh, and now I'm filling up. That's almost some good, wholesome fun, if you ask me. Mm -hmm.